Hi Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading for May 2022. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is a general reading so it won't be for everybody's situation. If you would like more specific details for your situation, you can book a personal reading if you would like and you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also the roles can be reversed in this reading because it's general. All right, Capricorn, let's see. What is going on with you? First couple weeks of May 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Seven of Swords crossed by the Ten of Cups. Oh, okay. Um, well, somebody's going against love. Could be you, could be the other person, but it feels like, yeah, um... There has either been something that may have been a little bit shady that happened, but I mean, the love is there. It's just somebody is not um, either not acknowledging it or has gone against, against that. Let's see. For your energy, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, this reading is kind of reminding me of a Virgo's reading, just because some of the cards are similar. Um, definitely different positions, but they are similar. So maybe some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Um, yeah, there is a commitment here. There is a commitment here. There is a person here that maybe you ha either had a strong commitment with or this is what you really, really wanted. And things may have been moving in that direction or maybe it was even a marriage for some of you. Um, but things seem to be at a standstill Currently, I feel like you're taking a step back and just really assessing the potential for this. Let's see for them. The Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and Judgment. Okay, so, yeah, wow, okay, we have, I mean, we have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. All of these cards talk about stability and commitment. So I do feel like... Yeah, this is definitely somebody where things seemed to have been heading in that direction or you were already in a committed relationship with this person. And things, again, like I feel like, you know, they were feeling really, really solid and that they were moving in a very positive way here. Um, you're taking a step back because I feel like there was something maybe that was hidden or something that... I don't know, something a little bit shady here. Um, somebody possibly just avoiding the emotional aspect of this, okay? So it's really going to depend. But this person is still wanting this. I feel like they're still giving some energy to this, even though you're taking a step back, but maybe they're not giving much. Um, I don't know if you were expecting for them to give more because it's like, I mean, they they know that they felt like this is a commitment, but as being as the page, they're not giving as much as the Ten of Pentacles would require. All right. Um, now they're definitely moving towards making some kind of a decision or a discernment or having some kind of an awakening here, possibly a major realization. Let's see the potential outcome here. We have the higher event. All right. Okay. So Taurus energy. That's another card of commitment. So I do see that coming back into the picture here. So let's see, let's clarify. It's a whole bunch of commitment cards. All right, so let's see that Seven of Swords with the Ten of Cups. The Eight of Swords, Death, and the Queen of Wands. Uh, some of you might also be dealing with a Scorpio. What is this? I, I mean, it feels like... For some of you, there definitely may have been a third party here. Um, doesn't have to be, but definitely for some of you. 
whatever this shadiness was or this avoidance is of of the love here it's like this is all revolving around somebody's fear um somebody just having some i'm getting some irrational thoughts that stem from fear possibly about about this connection or or just about love in general um and so i feel like this person may have done something shady or they may have just avoided this kind of stepped away maybe even maybe even moved in the direction towards bringing about an ending to this but again it's based off of their own own fears because i feel like whoever did this um still desires the other person okay because i'm not sure yet if this was you or them let's see let's see Ooh, that ten of pentacles Two of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, okay, so for you it felt like you began to have doubts about, about the commitment, basically, about the relationship, possibly even about the, um, the loyalty, even. And this is something that maybe you feel like, you know, was kind of building building and building and building um, until you decided to take a step back. Let's see that hanged man. The moon, okay, so Pisces and the page of swords. Okay, so it's like you're taking a step back, but you're still, you're still not very clear. You're still not very clear as to what is going on. Um, you're trying to find out. You're trying to investigate the situation here. I feel like you're looking for something, like you're looking to find something that you're not even sure if it happened or not, or something that you're just not very sure about. It's like you're trying to figure that out by taking that step back. Let me see that Ace of Pentacles. And it could even be, you know, you trying to really figure out whether, you know, this is something that you want to um, continue on with or even put effort into. And I feel like you're just really not sure. Let's see, Ace of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Yeah, you're moving towards having, I feel like, a lot of doubt um, concerning this connection. Either th there may be a third party involved, I don't know, could be for some of you and not for others, but um, you're really conflicted. I feel like you're feeling like, you know, like this path forward is it's just creating more conflict than it is peace. Almost like, you know, you, you, you feel like you just cannot work with this person. Now, I don't know if you're, because I'm not really seeing much emotions. So like, I don't know. Capricorn, where are your emotions? <laughs> um, I feel like you're just taking like this really practical approach where you're just like, you know what? Think practically, take a step back, assess the situation. It's not working. Okay, nope. And of course, this doesn't have to be the forever. I just see that this is what is in your energy for this particular time period. But it's just interesting to me because I feel like this is something that you really did want. You you felt like this could be something that could continue on um, for a while. Now, for others of you, I'm getting that part of the reason why you might feel like this is difficult, even though you, you might still want it, is because there might be other people involved or there might be some resistance from from other people and that you know is creating some difficulties here oh, all right let's see for them let's see this four of wands the king of pentacles and the ten of cups showing up again 
interesting. Well, this person, is, I mean, wow. Well, this is what they want. They want this. They want they want it to be like a real um, committed relationship, marriage even. Like this person is really, really serious. So I don't know. Maybe it's you who's um, who initiated, you know, kind of like this ending or just to take a break for whatever reason. Maybe you're just not trusting the connection. You're not trusting the love if this is you. Otherwise, it's them. But, I mean, they, they're showing up here like they really want this. Or at least they did. And I, I do feel like because this is... This isn't like past energy. This is it is a progression, but it's not necessarily f like the far away past. This is still here, all right. But there, let's see. Let me just see. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Hierophant showing up again. All right. So Taurus is showing up twice. We do have quite a bit of Earth, so a lot of you might be dealing with another Earth sign. Um, I see this person taking action towards you. It might not be much, but they're definitely at least wanting to communicate here. They're wanting to communicate about the level of commitment or something to do with the commitment here. Again, just a lot of cards of commitment. And I think I think it was very this is very similar to um is it similar to I, I think I think it's a little similar to Virgo, possibly. Let's see, judgment. The hermit, <laughs> there's Virgo. Um, and the nine of cups. So if you're spending some time apart, all right, because I see you being in this hanged man and now they're having the hermit show up. So I do feel like, you know, you're taking that step back, trying to really assess the situation. Um, they're trying to communicate with you but I feel like you're still just kind of maybe being a little bit aloof in a way. Um, so then it, it almost feels like this person is, is forced to spend a little bit of time alone. And this is what is bringing in that wake up call about, um, about what they truly want. Possibly even anything concerning um, pleasure. Maybe for some of them um, concerning selfishness doesn't have to be, but for some of them that definitely could be the case. But it's through spending some time alone that they will have some major realizations concerning what it is that they truly want. Just realized our final card here is out. There we go. Okay. So let's see the Hierophant for the potential outcome because, again, that's talking about the commitment. I see it coming back in the picture. But let's see what it's about. Three of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Mm. Okay. So, yes, it's like it's still there. Like, it's still kind of like surrounding the energies. I feel like because, you know, you're not really showing much emotions here. So you may have just like completely detached from your own emotions. And so it could be why this is still here. So if you're really like wanting to move away from this, I feel like, you know, you, you might have to heal. Because I, I see with this Four of Pentacles that there is some holding back. Um, possibly being a little bit stubborn and procrastinating that those emotions from, you know, being processed. Now, on the other hand, I do feel like there is just some overall healing that is coming into play, okay? It's just, you know, you don't have to delay it by just avoiding, okay? And then then you will see what you want to do with this commitment. Because it's still here. This person still wants this. This person still wants this. It's going to be up to you, basically. Alright, so... If this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have the south note. Don't let your past hold you back. 
So take that as it resonates. Could be talking about something from your like far away past. Um, or it could be about something more recent. Either way, don't let your past hold you back from what it is that you want. All right, Capricorn, those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.